time. One of the Palmeray Inn Suites, one of the major sponsors, the major sponsor in our show, our guitars and wagons show. And this is Doug Green at the Apple Auto Glass Barrel 3. Harry Fever for Deacon Oil and Bill Transport coming to the UFB Barrel 2. And then Barrel 1, Les Fever, attack oil for the old Canadian Tire. Let's go. Jump on there, let's make sure everybody turns. Very close, I tell you, but I think it looks a little better than it did last night. No left young man, and much of that speaker, no, he's fine now. Attack oil field is on the attack. Look at that speaker. I think he won this heat last night by a late margin, I think. I golly, he might be doing it again. I think he might be. He's definitely going to wind up, but he's heading on to the back stretch. He is well ahead of his brother, Dean Canoyfield, and uh, Eric Weaver right now. And that's going to have to play a catch-up grade, a catch-up on job right now. Doug Green and the Palmerine and Suisse, a little trouble getting out of there and turning left, as we can see by the tracks. But he has got a fast team that starts right about now. And let's see if he's going to make it, because he came from the back and uh, won this heat last night, I do believe. Uh, or no, that was two nights ago, I do believe. Last night it was a little bit of trouble, a little bit of trouble, that's right. I think this is Les Fever coming around now from the tag oil field. It's having a great time. Now Doug Green is turning on the jets. And if uh, Eric Fever looks to his left, he might see the noses of Doug Green's team. And let's see what happens on the way home. But he's not going to be able to catch Les Fever because he is on the attack. He's going to finish the attack. This is Les Fever coming across the number one. He can only feel that Eric Fever is going to be coming into the second spot. And for the Baltimore United States, that is Doug Green coming in number